What's going on everybody, Daniel Worthy here, and today I wanted to bring you this video on how to code faster. Um, there are various ways how you can code faster, whether it's snippets, knowing all the uh, keyboard shortcuts for your IDE, and several other ways, macros and templating and stuff. Well, for me, uh, one of the things that helped me out the most in uh, learning how to code faster was to utilize an application called Vim. And uh, Vim is a standalone application that uh, has a very unique way of uh, navigating through a text document. Instead of using your arrow keys or your mouse, you actually use the home row of your uh, keyboard. Um, it's it's at first it seems extremely foreign, but after you get used to it, you can you can work your way through uh, a a document extremely quickly. Um, so I just kind of wanted to show you a quick a uh, quick demo of, of some of the features of this. Um, I'm not going to go over every single piece to the to the application and, and how it works. There's there's many other people who have done that already, and I'm going to link to the one that helped me out the most in the video description. So just to kind of start off, what I have is I have Visual Studio Express and Visual Studio uh, I think is professional. Uh, up, up in front of us, and in one of them I have a tool or a, an extension called VS Vim. And what this does is that it takes the it takes the keyboard navigation for um, it takes the keyboard navigation of Vim and allows you to utilize that navigation inside of Visual Studio. Now, what I did to get used to this methodology of, of traversing through a document is I spent a lot of time in regular Vim, which um, is extremely simplistic. Let me see if I can find... Yes, and so the, uh, the way how your regular Vim works, which Let's actually open up a document first. I'm using GVim, which has a, a navigation menu um, associated with it. And I don't know what's going on with it, but anyway. And uh, so, so I spent about a month inside of that just practicing and learning the essential commands. And to demo really quickly kind of how this will speed up your code, I'm going to go into my standard text document um, in uh, Visual Studio Express. Now, Let's say I want to get to from the top of the page to the bottom and add some script tags. Well, to do that, I'm going to have to either move my hand over to the keyboard or to the arrow keys and start pressing the page up, page down, or the arrow keys, or I'm going to move my hand to my mouse. You'll notice my, my keyboard is actually 10 keyless. It's because I don't, I, I eventually got to the point where I wasn't using my number pad a whole lot. And so I actually have a separate one for data entry. But anyway, you're going to move your hand to your mouse and scroll it to the very bottom of the page and then you're going to start typing out your script tag and just start from there. And so how we could do this inside of Vim is that we can uh, navigate with our arrow keys and so we're actually going to go up. We're actually, to get to the very bottom of the page, we're actually just going to type capital G. If you want to get to the top of the page, we're going to go GG. Um, if you want to get to a specific line number, we can do, let's, let's go to line 20, so we're going to do 20G. Um, that's capital G. And so we can navigate, if it's, especially if we know the line numbers, uh, we, we know how to get to whatever line we want extremely quickly. Now, as you can see, I'm pressing J to go down and K to go up. L makes us go right and H makes us go left. Now, this may seem like that we're traversing extremely slowly um, on this particular line. Well, there are s several other ways to do that. Um, and I guess I should mention the different modes right now for, uh, for Vim. So we're currently in navigation mode. If you actually want to start typing, you go into insert mode. And, um, but for now we're just in, we're in navigate mode. Um, so let's say we want to go to the end of the word, well you're going to press E. If you want to go to the beginning of a word, you're going to press B. And if you want to go to the next word, you're going to press W. 
Um, and so these are just a couple of the, the ways you can traverse. I believe if you type the character you want and then press F. Uh, maybe what, I can't remember what it was. Okay, if you type F and then a character you want, and say, say you want to go to the, the end brace of our li tag, you can F and then type the character. And if you, I think if you want to go to the previous one, let's see here, sorry, I don't use this feature a whole lot, so it's going to be lowercase f and your character. And I thought, I'm sorry, I thought that if you wanted to go to the previous one, it's capital F, yeah. So lowercase f to go to the next one and capital F if you want to go to the, the previous version of that tag. Um, some of the other things that we can do navigation-wise is if you press zero, it's going to take you to the, the beginning of the line. If you press dollar sign, it's going to take you to the end of the line. Um, and that sums up the, the very, a very high level of how navigation works. Now, uh, one of the other modes that we are going that you'll spend a lot of time in is insert mode. So to get into this mode, we're going to press I, and what that does is that it's going to put your cursor at the beginning of where your flashing uh, navigator is. So I'm going to go in front of the H. Now essentially if you continually to press escape and I, escape puts you back into navigation mode from visual or insert mode. You're going to just continue to go forward. Now what particularly I want to be able to do is I want to go to the end of this word and start typing onto it. But if I press I, it's going to put my carrot in, or it's going to put my cursor in front of it. Well, that's what A is for. A, kind of think of A as a pen. And so from there, you can start typing after the word. One of the other modes that you will uh, utilize a lot is uh, visual mode. And so you get into that by pressing V. And it's essentially our highlighter. So let's say we want to copy and paste this whole line. And so instead of highlighting it, you're going to go, um, you're going to go V and then sorry, V dollar sign, and it's going to highlight the whole line for you. Now, traditionally, if you want to copy and paste this line, you can either move your hand over to your mouse, copy, or Control C. I'm sorry. Ah. Control C, or you can highlight the whole line. You press Y, which this is uh, Vim's way of copying. So you, and you will actually paste by pressing P. Um, now um, this says uh, you may be thinking, oh, this is just one more way to copy and paste. But after a while, you get really used to it, and you can get. Uh, you can get to copying and pasting stuff extremely quickly. Uh, y does seem like a very odd character to use for copy, but I kind of it. I believe they call it yank. Um, one thing that's kind of fun about the yank feature is that if you want to copy a whole line, you just tap Y twice, and then you can copy and paste a whole line. This is great if you're working inside of something like uh, um, uh, HTML and you're needing to copy and paste the same line several times or um, say you have a, a series of unordered lists, you can just sit there and, and paste it. Um, and I believe I went over the fact that P is your um, your paste feature, or your paste key. Um, so there's, much like I and A, um, P works in a similar fashion where um, you can paste by simply pressing P. And if you want to paste before, you use capital P. Wish that my so I, I'm currently using a, a called QI press to display my keystrokes, and for some reason it's only showing capital letters. Um, some of the other fun features there uh, there is a command, um, essentially a command. Um, I don't know what they call it, but it, you, you get into command mode. So if I press semicolon. I go into command mode and you'll notice down here on the very bottom of my screen if you press colon, I'm sorry, not semicolon, you start typing out something there. Now this is where um, Vim kind of gets a lot of its power. So down here we can type all sorts of stuff. Um, 
after you learn some of the commands in Vim, this is where it really takes off. Uh, I particularly don't do a whole lot of that. I mainly use Vim and VS Vim to get the navigation out of it, but this is, you can do regex, find different places, all sorts of stuff. The main thing I do inside of the command mode um, is save the file. So to save a file, you'll do semicolon, or I'm sorry, colon w for write the file. Um, that does seem like a lot of extra work compared to control s for save. But after a while, you just get that, that keystroke method down really, really fast. Um, some of the other stuff you can do inside of uh, command mode is control uh, W to say control Q to quit, um, which crashes my Visual Studio because of um, it. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling that maybe it has something to do with. Uh, I have a feeling it has something to do with the. All my stuff is dead on here. Um, it has something to do with the fact that I was inside of an HTML file and all that stuff. So we're going to go into an Umbraco project I've been working on. We're going to open up a couple files um, and actually see how that controlled Q works. Um, BSVim is an open source. There we go. Um, is an open source extension for Visual Studio. It's free. It's not perfect, but for what it is and, and the cost of free, it's pretty stinking awesome. Um, and so with that, I think that pretty much sums up just about everything I wanted to cover with VSM. There's tons of other ways how to learn how to code faster. Um, or not necessarily learn to code, but how to improve your, your coding speed and quality. This is probably something that I found that was not obvious out there. Um, I mean, a lot of the time you can just simply take obscure typing tests with all the random characters and just learn your keyboard layout a lot better. I got rid of my 10 key and I spend most of my time up on the number row actually typing uh, with, with the numbers up there. And that's helped me out a lot. But um, Vim is probably the the approach that has helped me out the most over the past year or two years to extremely speed up um, my, my coding speed. If that, uh, extremely speed up my coding um, output, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, um, thank you for watching. Uh, please leave some feedback uh, if you like. Um, let me know if there's anything. I, I spend most of my time inside of Visual Studio, so if there's anything you want to see inside of that, um, there's a few like snippet managers and stuff like that. So um, anything you want to see, shoot it. Shoot me a comment. Send me an. Uh, I guess YouTube essentially sends me an email, so you can email me that. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next one.